In this tutorial, I want to go over how to use SMTP to go to set up SMTP deliverability for your website. So who is this for? Well, maybe you got denied by Amazon SES. It happens. It's happening more often these days. Or maybe you simply don't want to use Amazon because it's too complicated and you want a simpler solution. And maybe your needs aren't as intense as an SES setup would require. Whatever the reason, here's how to set up SMTP to go with your website using SureMails. We're going to go to smtp2go.com. We're going to go to see plans and pricing here. They have a fairly generous free plan. They allow up to 200 emails per day and up to 1,000 emails per month. That's pretty good. Perfect for like password resets or for login information like credentials or WooCommerce receipts or whatever it might be that you're sending that are transactional. Obviously, if you're going to integrate with an email-based WordPress tool like a Fluent CRM, uh, you're going to want to increase this um, more than a thousand per month, over, you know, obviously as you're growing your email list. And at that point, it does start to cost a little bit more money. And you do reach a point where you may want to change to a different type of tool, depending on your budget. Um, but it, it does have fairly, fairly decent pricing and it is a, a fairly good tool as well. So let's look at how to set this up. We're going to go ahead and sign up. You can sign up for free. You don't even need a credit card. We're just going to use the free plan in this tutorial. All right, they'll send you an email that you need to activate, and then you'll be dropped right here into your SMTP to go account. We'll go ahead and we'll follow through the account setup process and we'll set up a verified sender. We're going to add a sender domain. I'll go ahead and add my demo site here, marketingfunnels.live. We'll continue with this domain and they're going to give you some DNS records that you need to add into your account. I use Cloudflare, so this is ridiculously simple. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and add the following records. We're gonna add three C names. I'll just click the copy buttons. We'll do copy, I'll paste in, change this to be C name, paste in the name. I'll pop back here, I'll hit copy, I'll paste in the target, I won't proxy it. I'll put a little comment here that this is SMTP to go, and I'll click save. Now I'm just going to repeat that process for these last two. All right, all of those have been added. I'll go ahead and click verify. Didn't even have to wait. They're verified right away. And I guess we're good to go. I'll just hit verify again for fun. All right, we're good. I'll hit back and you can see that my domain is verified and tracking has been enabled. On the free plan, you can have five verified senders. So I could add different domains. I could add convology.com or I could add tech stack live, those different domains that I have. And all of them would use the same free plan uh, or I could make different free plans for each of them, I guess, if I wanted to by signing up with different emails from those domains. And if I didn't want to verify all of the emails at an address, I would use single sender emails so that maybe only, you know, Doug at marketingfunnels.live would be able to send emails. But I don't know why you would do that. I mean, I guess I know why you would do that, but I don't do that. I would just do it under sender domains. All right, let's pop back to our dashboard now. And the next step is going to be to get an SMTP username or API key. Before we do that, let's actually go ahead and go uh, into SureMails. And by the way, if you're not a SureMails user, it's completely free. I have no stake in you using it or not. It's just the SMTP plugin for WordPress that I recommend. I used to use Fluent SMTP, um, but I really like SureMail. Well, it's SureMails or SureMail? I swear there was an S. The domain has an S. Maybe they changed it. Ah, sure enough, SureMail, they changed it. I'm glad. <laughs> they were calling it SureMails for a while. I like SureMail better. I'm glad they made the change. So SureMail, awesome. Let's go ahead and go into settings, which is where I think it's buried. There it is, SureMail, awesome. And now we can go and go under connections and they just updated the plugin today, uh, at least the time I'm making this video. A week and a half ago when I made my first SureMail video, they did not have basically any of these available and now they do. And one of those is SMTP to go. So if we select SMTP to go, um, I'll just remove the word connection. You can give it whatever title you want. They're asking us for an API key. So we know what we want to do. We want to create an API key at SMTP to go. So I'll click on API key and you can see I don't have any currently, um, but we can go ahead and create one. So I'll click add API key. Thankfully they blocked it out so you didn't see it. I'll put sure mail in here so I know what it is and I'll click add API key. Now I'll go ahead and take that API key back here into SureMail. I'll paste it in the API key field. I love the fact that they blank that out so that I don't have to do that in post-processing here. But the from email we'll put um, maybe Doug at marketingfunnels.live. I talked about this in my SureMail setup video. Go ahead and check that out if you haven't. I'll link it in the description as well as somewhere up here for you to check out. I'm also going to put a from name and force it as well. 
All right, we can go ahead and click save now. All right, and we are authenticated. You can see here, got uh, the SMTP to go. It is all added. And now let's go ahead and do a test. Just going to click send test email, send it to myself. It said successful. Let's go ahead and check my inbox. And here we go. You can see that it came through, signed appropriately, and everything looks good to go. Coming back in here into SMTP to go, you can go into your summary. You can see that it did use one of my emails. I have one out of a thousand used. Here's the activity. It was uh, sent who it was sent to. It was delivered successfully. The subject of the email. Uh, so you can see you can kind of keep a track of your logs. And I think you get you know so many days of logs free included in the free plan. So I hope that was helpful getting you all set up with SMTP to go with SureMail. If you have any questions about how to use other SMTP providers or need additional help with setting up your SMTP for your website, feel free to check out the links in the description.